Hello everyone, welcome to Loot Games channel. In this video we will find out how weeds, plowing, lime and different types of fertilizers affect the amount of yield in the seasons mod. I was interested in checking exactly how the crop's volume calculation work in seasons for two reasons. The first reason, with the seasons we fertilize the field three times, instead of two in the vanilla game. The second reason, there is such a thing as crop rotation. So I'll just figure out the mechanics of how the volume is calculated. Before I start calculation in seasons, I made uh, 8 small fields of the same size on the mini boom map without seasons. Uh, this is to make sure that all fields actually the same. I planted all the field with wheat. Fields need plowing and lime are not fertilized and the weeds grow on it. And harvested 503 liters of wheat from each field, so the fields are the same. It will be a reference point. Now run the saved game with the seasons. What and how affect the amount of crops in the vanilla game we already know. If you don't know it, there is a video about it on the channel. In this video I wanted to repeat all these experiments, but the problem arose because of weeds. Because uh, weeds appear randomly in small wisps. Even if you set 100% of the weeds in the seating, the wall fields is not covered with weeds. So the experiments will look like this. Field number 1. Just seed it with wheat and that's it. Field number 2 is herbicide treated at the last weeds grow stage. Starting from the field number 3, we spray herbicides immediately after sowing wheat, in order to eliminate the element of randomness from weeds. Field number 3 was simply sprayed with herbicides immediately after sowing. Field number 4 is plowed plus herbicides. Field number 5 – lime plus herbicides. Field number 6 – fertilized once plus herbicides. Number 7 – field fertilized twice plus herbicide. Field number 8 – fertilized three times plus herbicides. Waiting for all crops to ripen. And so, among other things, the amount of crops in season is affected by crop rotation. In case you forgot, this is this tab where we plan what to grow after what. Specifically in this case, we did not grow anything in the fields, so twice here we put follow. So bonus for crop rotation should be 20%. By the way, 20% is the maximum what we can get for crop rotation, and in my opinion, not growing anything one year to get a 20% bonus uh, the next year make no sense. Let's see how it works. We waited for ripening and now harvesting. From the first untreated field we harvest 698 liters. From the second field where weeds were eliminated at the last stage we harvested 718 liters. These numbers do not mean anything because the area of weeds is different. Naturally, after the wall experiments I thought a little bit about the numbers and came to the following conclusions. The bonus for harvesting weeds, plowing and lime are the same as the vanilla game. And the calculation for the seasons goes like this. First, the tillage bonus is added to the base volume as in the vanilla game. And then the final volume is multiplied by the crop rotation bonus. That is 20% added not to the base volume, in this case 503 liters. And uh, that will be after bonuses for processing. Field number 3 is a wheat free field. 530 liters plus 20% for wheat elimination and it should be 603.6 liters. Uh, multiply by 1.2 and you get 724 liters. It's match. And note that from the second field we collected 718 liters. I conclude if you eliminate the weeds at the last stage. It gives less volume than complete removal of the weeds, just like in the vanilla game. Field number 4 – 503 liters plus 20% uh, for no weeds plus 15% for plowing. Total is 679 liters. Multiplied by 1.2 that's uh, 814.8 liters. Well, 815 liters. Field number 5 503 liters plus 20% uh, for no weeds plus 15% for lime. That's uh, 617 liters multiplied by 1.2 and we get 
815 liters. Same as plowing. Same as in vanilla game. Field number 6. Intrigue. With the season the field can be fertilized 3 times. And what does it give? It gives as much as 2 layers in the vanilla game. 50%. That is, uh, one layer of fertilize gives a bonus of something like 16.66. Well, there is a bunch of sixes after the comma. So, 503 liters plus 20% uh, for no weeds, plus 16.66% uh, for fertilizer, that's uh, 687 liters multiplied by 1.2, and we get 824 liters. No, okay, 825. Field number 7, 503 liters. 20% for no weeds, plus approximately 33.33% uh, .33 for two layers of fertilizer. Total of 771 liters, multiplied by 1.2, and we get 925 liters. Okay, 926. And field number 8, 503 liters, 20% for no weeds, plus 50% uh, for three layers of fertilizer. Total 855 liters multiplied by 1.2, and we get 1026 liters of wheat. Does it make sense to use fertilizer in seasons? A simple example. One of the most unprofitable crops is wheat, oats or barley. If you don't collect straw, the base volume of wheat is 890 liters per 1000 square meters. If you fertilize with one layer, you increase the volume by 16.66%, that is 148 liters. If we sell 148 liters at the base price of $337, we get $50. Fertilizer per 1000 square meters takes a couple of dollars less. In this case, of course, there is no point in fertilizing. And of course, there is no point in fertilizing if uh, health of the fertilizer goes out the field. But the first of all, with the seasons you try to grow what uh, more expensive, and you won't throw away the straw. Second, you will not sell at such a low price for sure. And third, crop rotation also multiplies this volume, but uh, crop rotation can also reduce yield, so you can't ignore it. And then there's not much to do when you're playing with the seasons to ignore fertilizing the field. Yes, it still makes sense to use fertilizer. Once again, we sow wheat with a full tillage. For the full tillage goes 100%. That's uh, 1006 liters of wheat. Then multiply by 1.2 and we get 1207 liters. Just in case, let's see at once how different types of fertilizer affect the volume of the crops. Before sowing wheat, let's uh, fertilize the field once. Solid fertilizer, liquid fertilizer, manure, liquid manure, digestate. And finally, the oil radish. Yes, about oil radish. It takes a couple of months for radish to appear and usually we have time to sow or plant something after that. So it makes sense to use radish as fertilizer too because it's cheapest fertilizer. Well, and uh, with the seasons it's happened that uh, there is nothing much to do, uh, why not sow radish? But there is a risk. If you sow the radish at the beginning of the year, if there will be prolonged uh, cold weather, and the soil does not have much time to warm up, the radish will not have time to grow by the time you need to sow something else. Uh, in this case, you will not... In this case, you won't get any fertilizer from the radish. But you can sow radish at the end of the year after harvest. I will tell you about it later. In the meantime, we waited for radish to appear and sow wheat in all fields. To avoid randomness, we spray every field with herbicides. And wait for the wheat to ripen. Harvesting. A field with solid fertilizer 825 liters of wheat, filled with liquid fertilizer 825 liters, Filled with manure, 825 liters. Filled with liquid manure, 825 liters. Filled with digestate, 825 liters. And finally, a filled with oil radish, 825 liters. That is, as in the vanilla game, the volume does not depend on the type of fertilizer. Let's go back to the oil radish. If minimum crop damage is set in the cities, you can sow radish immediately after harvesting. If the soil temperature is high enough, not below 6 degrees, the radish may have time to grow. Then cultivate it and sow something in the next year. Or sow something right now. 
Oh, we can sow radish again right away. Interesting crop in the seasons, of course. Under the snow it feels fine, the other crops are frozen, radish leaves. Moreover, we can even sow it during snowfall. We can cultivate the land, but we can sow radish. Of course, radish will grow closer to the end of the spring, when soil temperature are right, but still. And what if the crop damage is at maximum? And basically the same thing, just there will be pieces of not germinated or frozen radish. But the whole field won't be gone. Since we are talking about the volume of the crop, we need to check whether the volume depends on the stage of growth with the seasons. Uh, let's start with the obvious, grass. In the vanilla game its volume depends on the stage of maturity, and this is noticeable. Uh, what about the seasons? Uh, let's collect grass from a small field as soon as it becomes available for mowing. We get 588 liters, load the saving game before mowing and wait for the next stage. We collect. 915 liters. There is a difference here, like in vanilla game. With the regular crops the test dragged on. Before this experience I did not pay attention to the stage of maturation, uh, that is as it is shown on the map. In the vanilla game's crop had different color maturation, and in the seasons I noticed that the ripened crops on the map are just yellow and that's it. Ripened crops have only one color. Perhaps this because I put speed uh, 120 to record this video, but the grass for example has time to change the stage of maturation. So I didn't wait for the different stage of maturity. To still check I decided to edit the map file to be able to harvest at any stage of growth. In a game with no seasons this works and the full volume of the crops is harvested, but with the seasons it did not work that way. Digging in the files I found this line. That is with seasons there is actually only one stage of harvesting. Still I decided to check further and then the forage harvester came to help. It is possible to collect the chaff at the last green stage. We collected 2079 liters of chaff. Uh, we loaded the save again before harvesting, waited for ripening and harvesting the chaff again. This time we collect 2079 liters, the same amount as the green stage. Uh, we see that the volume does not depend on the stage of growth. Well, you may say it's the chaff, it may be different with the regular crops, but the feature of the game is that uh, when the forage harvester works, the base volume of the harvest is simply multiplied by the figure uh, that the creator of the map put up. But we have to deal with it. Now I have set the volume dependence on the stage of growth in the map setting, I mean in the map files. Made a small field of wheat again, and again I am harvesting it with a forage harvester. On the last green stage I harvested 1553 liters of chaff. Uh, loading the gate before harvesting, waiting for ripening. Harvesting the chaff and this time we get 2330 liters. We see that now there is a dependence of the volume on the stage. And to the finally understand everything, in the map setting I removed the dependence of the volume on the stage and I loaded the game on the green stage of growth again. And at this time collect uh, 2330 liters. The conclusion is as follows. If on the map without seasons there is a dependence of volume on the stage of growth, it will be with the seasons. If there is no dependence, there is no dependence with the seasons. Well, I hope you understand almost everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And goodbye everyone.